Hey guys, how y'all doing? This is Dream Moon Soroya here for another reading for the sign of Scorpio. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciated. Thank you for those who subscribe, those who recently subscribed, and those who subscribe in the near future. All is welcome. Cross watchers, grab a seat. All right, I won't hold you guys any longer. Thank you, thank you so much for your continued lovely likes, comments, and shares, and continue subscribing to my channel. I'm greatly appreciated. There's no time, no gender, and tarot. This is why I highly recommend that you guys subscribe, subscribe, because you just never know when you need to hear this. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right. Hope you guys are having a fabulous Friday. Happy birthday to those Scorpios. This is your season, okay? I know it's gonna, I know the Sagittarius is our way to push you guys out the line. However, always remember we are all of the 12 zodiac signs. We just gotta listen to what resonates to us. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, let's go. Ancestors, all right. Ancestors, angels, universe. Any messages you would like for me to relay back to the sign of Scorpio, please and thank you. All right. The card that came out for you is the Knight of Swords. The King of Cups. That came in reverse, okay? Someone is pondering, someone is thinking of ways to come and approach you and give you an offer because some of you guys are through and done with this person. It's like smooth sailing from now, okay? Some of you guys are not looking back and wanting to rekindle this. Why? Because you feel as though with what you have to offer, can't nobody in their right mind, if they are in their right mind, would lose a chance of love with you, okay? So some of you guys are definitely feeling yourself. Some of you guys are definitely understanding your worth. Some of you guys are definitely understanding your calling and what serves you and what doesn't, okay? And this is why some of you guys are definitely chucking up the deuces and taking this as a loss, but not a loss, but more, uh, more so as a lesson and realizing that people who are meant to be in your life will stay in your life and they will hold a certain type of regard as in standard not to only match yours but also for you to match theirs and if they do not apply that pressure within themselves how could they apply that pressure within your relationship your connection and within yourself how could this person make you happy if they don't see themselves being happy with themselves also making you happy in the process of you reciprocating that, okay? You are dealing with someone. Not only have they been broken, they have also broken others too. And this person feels as though that they always have a chance to make it better. And this is where it also stems from breadcrumbing and manipulation. This person feels as though they know what to say to you. They know what you want to hear. In order for you to accept them back again into your life. So where the runner, because they were running and you were chasing, now the tables have turned because once you understand and know your worth, right? The tables have turned. Where they become the chaser and you become the runner. But you're not in the midst of running and hoping that this person understands your value, you already know that they did not understand your value at the first time around. So you're walking away. You're going towards someone who already understands your value. Not even, not, even if they made that mistake and not understanding your value the first time, but they won't continue to repeatedly make that same mistake. And that's what your past person kept doing. Once you kept giving them chances and chances and chances after chances after chances, they kept manipulating you in order to stay. So they continue to t feed you what they feel as though you wanted to hear. What it is it that you f they feel you desire and you want in a partnership. When they know damn well they weren't ready to give that to you. Now they're ready. And now they want you to hold on and stop and wait and reflect while you're already gone. You already did some deep reflecting. You already faced the challenges that you needed to face and you're done and you're tired. And, and there's other fishes in the sea. 
And at this time, if you guys are not searching for that, if you some, at this time you guys are not looking for that, at this time, you're you're deciding to love you a little bit more each day. That's what you're holding on to. And if that person does not understand that, and I don't, and you don't even give a damn how much they was running. Do you know how exhausted you were running? You know how long you've been running? And this is why some of you guys are done and done. And some of you guys, yeah, you want to turn around and look back because that's what you've been waiting for, for this person to show you. But what's crazy is if you look at this, this person is running and chasing nothing. Because you guys made a decision that you choose yourself. You chose yourself. And, they, and you are no longer there where they left you. And that's what's crazy about some narcissists and some people who just are so full of themselves is because when they're ready, they expect for you to still be there. And when you're no longer there, that's their karma. And that's something that they need to settle in because you no longer want it. The way you eager, you were eager and wanting it. And that's just a hard pill for them to swallow. How many pills you done swallowed? But it's not here for comparison. It's not here to retaliate. It's not here to be tit for tat. It's here to recognize real. And they didn't recognize it. So you're, you're good. You're good on it. You're good on it. So all I say is that some of you guys hold on to this power that you guys have and Continue to manifest the life that you want and continue to love on you. You're doing a great job. And if somebody never told you, if somebody hasn't told you lately, good job. And I'm proud of you. And I love you. Till next time, Scorpio. Namaste. Happy birthday.